Hey you guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys some gameplay with the Galaxy Note 9. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys some benchmarks that I performed so far on the Galaxy Note 9. Keep in mind, I just received this phone yesterday, and I only restarted this phone like around three or four times already because I want the battery, you know, to you know take charge and 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 refresh and all that. I did let it let the battery um, drain out like two times, you know, just to give it a little heavy work during the past two days which is barely past two days right um but um i did play this game a lot and one thing that i gotta tell you guys right away is that every time that i've been playing this game it has been getting hot the phone actually has been getting really hot and when i say really hot uh when i first started playing this game with the case on it the case that i did uh that i showed you guys the spigen case um it was hot when I took the phone out of the case, it was like blazing hot just because it was inside of the case. For me, that is not normal. Uh, but, you know, since it's a new phone, I don't know if, the you know, you have to like break in the phone a little bit more so it could perform a little bit better or maybe the application actually needs to get an, an update so it could be fully compatible with the Galaxy Note 9. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But... Like I said right now, I played like, oh my god, I played already like 10 matches, maybe more than 10 matches already with the this um, Fortnite on the Galaxy Note 9. And like you see there, I also already got the Galaxy skin. Uh, supposedly you had to wait, you had to play at least three times a Fortnite and after you play it three times and you log off uh, like in the next day I actually got the skin so usually they say you have to wait between two to three days uh, no I only had to wait like one day and I already had the uh, the Galaxy suit already um, this right now let me see if I can actually see the graphics no I can't see the graphics unless I actually start the game but it, it is running at ultra I've been running in at ultra when I lowered the graphics down to HD it actually gets a little bit better and the frame rates actually um, are a little bit more smoother but at full blast 30 frames per second I've been noticing that it's getting really really hot now the reason I loaded up this game also is because I want to sh share with you guys the audio of this phone uh, this phone has two speakers one over here and this one over here I don't know if you guys can tell the difference that the sound is actually coming from the speakers. Uh, but what's cool about this is that I didn't notice yesterday when I was doing the unboxing video and in initial hands-on. Is that this game also has Dolby Atmos. So like you see there, if I turn it off, the audio turns down like almost completely. Right now this is full blast, right? This is how it sounds with Atmos off. So if I turn it on, look at the huge difference. It sounds really, really, really good. It makes a huge difference having two speakers and being Dolby at most. Amazing. Look at this again. Full blast. The phone is full blast. Amazing. The differences in audio is incredible. Now, I'm not going to show you guys gameplay now for this game. I, I'm going to show you guys after I show you guys the benchmarks that I've done so far. And on Tutu, I already did a test for on Tutu, and this is what it scored. 275,866. Now, when we compare that with the Galaxy Note 8, which I got right here. I'm going to show you guys. I just did this test right before I did the video because I think this application actually got updated. And now, like you see here, it totally looks very, very different from before. So look at the differences between the graphics benchmarks uh, between these two devices. The differences are really big. Now, when I did tests for Geekbench, okay, I got Geekbench right here. Uh, I was going history for CPU. I got... This right here, I'm going to show you guys uh, compared to the Galaxy Note 8. You know, some people like to see these benchmarks. Let's go ahead to the history and let's go into one of the latest benchmarks. Uh, look at the difference right there. If we go to the next one, all right, let's go to the next one. Look at that. A little bit better when it comes to single core there. 
in multi core 8353 6613. Now, when it comes to the GPU, let's go over here. GPU, look at that. Look at the huge difference there 12,161, 7891. That is a huge difference right there. And let's go to another one. And let's go to another one. Look at that. This is another test performed 12,983, 74. 47 and keep in mind every time i did these tests on both phones i made sure there was no application running in the background and most of the times i actually did the test right after you know a couple minutes after doing the reboot for the phone that way the phone can be nice and fresh so right now i'm just gonna do one test because the video the, these tests can get really long and i don't want the video to be that long so i'm gonna go ahead and run that test right there and let's go ahead over here do it I should have started at the same time, right? I'm gonna do it like that too as well. This test is pretty fast. This what actually tests is, is the GPU, the graphics performance of the phone. And I doing this one because it's the fastest one. If I do the other one, it will take forever. But at least you got to see the bench score um, between this phone and the Galaxy Note 8. It's very much noticeable. Okay, look at that. 13,199, even more than before wow look at that even more than before uh before i did twelve um thousand and this one right here i'm doing the test and i already recorded a whole bunch of gameplay and i haven't restarted the phone so look at that the performance of this device after playing a whole bunch of games and without restarting the phone 13 199 and over here look at that Pretty much constant with before 77.26. Wow. So there you have it. I got to show you guys the benchmarks right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some gameplay that I played on this phone. That way you guys can see how this game actually performs. And leave any questions in the comments about any of these games and how the game actually performed. Any questions that you have, please ask them. Now keep in mind, like I said, I was playing Fortnite and it did get hot a lot of times during playing this game in Ultra HD. Uh, when I lowered the game down to hd it actually performed a lot better um but in this game the video gameplay you're going to be seeing of all the games here it, they're all at full hd quality the best performance you can think of now there's one of the games that is legends it's like destiny is a first person shooter that game was running at epic okay epic 60 frames per second and it runs super smooth on this phone and there is like though the phone just get like warm very very different from fortnite when you're playing on this game fortnite was getting blazing hot playing legends which was playing at way higher graphics settings with 60 frames per second and ultra on epic graphics it was running smooth and warm which is normal so guys thanks for watching this video i hope you guys like the gameplay let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else till next time guys bye bye selling this on the internet.
Prime doesn't take a break, so neither should I. Come on, Spider-Man, show us what you got. Camera, buddy, don't leave me hanging. Nice punch. You ever think of a boxing career? My hero, I could just kiss you. will roll. 